Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about three things today. We're going to talk about celebrate the hero, this initiative. We're going to talk about choices, and we're going to talk about the importance of getting involved. Watch the Michigan Wolverines versus the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And Brad's name popped in my head. I was like, I gotta call my friend. It's been too long. I gotta call him. And I never did. I don't know why. I, I, to this day. I, Sometimes I wrap my head around it, trying to understand why I didn't call my friend, but I never did. Days turned into weeks, and subsequently into months, I moved in with my buddy, a bunch of us, and I was working at RBC Financial. Life was just normal. I remember the day like it was yesterday. It was a brisk April 4th morning. I got up, I showered, I put on my shirt and tie, I went downstairs, I watched sports desk, and I ate my cereal like I do every morning. And then at 7.35, I got a phone call. I saw on the, on the caller ID, Sandra McGrath. So I answered with an exuberant, hello! Only my exuberance wasn't met with the same enthusiasm. She asked, is Nick there? And at first I didn't think anything was wrong because my friend hated the phone. I was like, yes, it's Nick! And in my head, I'm like, we're going to be asking you a wedding. She's like, Nick, it's Sandra. I said, yes, Sandra. What's up? There's been an accident, and Brad's dead. Nothing in my life prepared me for that moment. Nothing. Not one thing. After the, after the first trial, the teacher, who will not be named, sat us all on those bleachers, wherever you guys are right there. 36 of us, three nights. And he had his clipboard, God love him, I'll never forget it, funniest thing, but worst thing that ever happened to me at the time. And he said, the following two people, the following people are no longer invited back to uh, basketball trials tomorrow. Pat O'Connor. <laughs> Pat O'Connor was my best friend, so I was like, sitting beside him, I was like, ha, ha, loser. First time. And Nick Foley. <laughs> Come on, coach, I need the grade 18. You Sure? He's like, and then after he goes, and my buddy comes over and goes, hey Foley, he talked like that, he did. Hey Foley, 280, 280 pounds. So I jumped up. I said, listen man, I don't know if I can do 80 pounds. I don't think I'll ever be able to do 80 pounds, but I tell you what I can do. What? I can circle a verb in a sentence. <laughs> I thought it was a great comeback. Teachers are like, yeah, good for you, good for you. I thought it was a great comeback. You know what his comeback was? Gotta know your audience. He goes, yeah? Well, how's that gonna help you get a girlfriend? <laughs> Touche, my musclehead friend. Treat everyone in your life as though they are a lady or a gentleman. Not because they are, but because you are. My name is Nick Foley. Celebrate you, celebrate the hero. Thank you very much. <laughs>